5.30 in the morning, way too early for me. We're in Sarnia, Canada, and we're heading to the St. Clarence. What are we going? And we're heading over to the St. Clair River to try to get a fish. Now I just got down to the river. All I've done is I've just drove along until I saw a few places that look fishy. Just little places that have some sort of protection from the current in the river. And I'm going to start today with a little rattle bait. This is um, just a generic one from Bass Pro Shops. But sort of any of the lipless crankbaits are good. I find with pike and muskie, which is what I'm going for today, the more loud and obnoxious the better. The smaller lures have a tendency to catch all size fish, where the bigger lures have a tendency to primarily catch bigger fish. And I've caught plenty of big fish on smaller lures, so I'm going with a smaller lipless crankbait this morning, and hopefully we'll get a few fish. I can see there's a bit of a weed bed here, so all I'm doing is casting the lipless crankbait over top of the weed bed, and then bringing it back, retrieving it just fast enough to just keep it out of getting snagged in the weeds. And my hope is that there's a pike or a muskie sitting down in those weeds and they're going to come up and smash the lure. Oh, yes. Oh, goodness. That's a decent one. That's a good fish. Oh, stay on. Oh, what do we got? Oh, oh boy. What do we got? Oh, it's a huge fish. Good God, this is either a pike or a muskie, and uh, it's easily my personal best fish. Oh, wow, it's a pike. It's my personal best pike. I have no idea how I'm gonna get this thing out of the water. Look at that. Oh, that's incredible. All right. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Oh! <laughs> oh, come on. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, come on. Oh boy. All right. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a gorgeous fish. What a gorgeous fish. Huh? Oh. Oh, oh, God. God, he's still down there though. God, I was hoping he might swim off. He was bleeding pretty bad. He's just sitting on the bottom now. See if he floats back up. Oh, sorry, buddy. I'll bring you home for dinner rather than waste you. Yeah, he was just too far gone. Now, unfortunately, it's the nature of catch and release fishing that the fish don't always release. So in that case, we're gonna take this one home for dinner. It's a big fish. It'll probably feed, I don't know, it'll probably feed the family at least three times, maybe more. And I hate to see that go to waste. So we're gonna bring it home. And Make some dinner with it.
the recipe I'm using is really simple tonight. It's just some flour with some salt and pepper in one bowl, eggs in another, and crushed up saltine crackers in the next bowl. And we just take the fish, dip it in the flour, onto the egg, coat it generously in the crushed up saltine crackers, then into the hot oil. And we'll run that for three minutes each side approximately until the fish is fully cooked. And I'll put the recipe in the description down below. So if you're interested in trying this recipe, just after the video, go down below and I'll have the full recipe there for you. I think the consensus on the pike was it's a little bit fishier than walleye or perch or some of the other fish that we usually have, but it's, it was still pretty good. I think if I was gonna do anything differently, I'd do a really nice tartar sauce with it, like a really nice homemade tartar sauce I think would be beautiful. And I kind of think with the fish, they're a little bit fishier, but still quite nice. Uh, a nice homemade tartar sauce is, is really beautiful with them. But other than that, it was pretty good eating fish and um, everybody ate it, loved it, and now we're out here for a little sunset fish, and uh, then it's time to take the kids and put them in bed. <laughs>